Hi guys, it's Yurit and I have a new layout using the May kits and this one was really easy to make and I owe it all to the free cut file that uh, Ashley Horton made for um, the Hip Kit Club members and um, yeah, it was posted today, I think. I'm recording this uh, Saturday, June 3rd. 13th and I just woke up and um, I was gonna prepare my layout for this week's uh, post and then I saw the cut file and then I remembered that I also have a cameo um, and this totally made me want to uh, use it more uh, because it was really really fun and really easy so this is the gorgeous cut file and I cut it out of a piece of cardstock from the cardstock add-on and um, I'm just I don't really use um, like darker bright colors I guess um, especially with cardstock so uh, I thought this was a good piece to use um, as my stencil and then I took some of the paint dabbers from the color kit and just painted and you can see I'm not using I'm not uh, using a lot of pressure I'm just um, like pressing it a little bit when I need more color uh, like more paint um, but it works great and I really really like how it turned out and it's so simple um, and then I had to add some uh, mist splatters because you know I'm me, <laughs> so I used uh, a few of the dilution um, ink sprays that we got in previous months um, in yellow, uh, teal, the teal is Calypso teal, lemon zest I want to say, and a bit of bubblegum pink just for a few uh, splatters. And seriously that was like the hardest part and I also used a few of the um, like leftover pieces from the cut file to um, cut the XOXO from pattern paper and yeah I see a lot of people have been doing that like cutting out uh, letters from um, pattern papers and I really love how that looked and I really wanted to try it myself and yeah this was a good opportunity and also not very uh, not too challenging for um, someone like me that doesn't really <laughs> enjoy fussy cutting and uh, I'm not very good at it um, but since I was on a roll uh, I also <laughs> grabbed that uh, beautiful pattern paper from Dear Lizzie from the new uh, Fine and Dandy collection and I cut out some hearts and I'm gonna use them all on my page and I think it just adds um, yeah a really whimsical touch and I really like how that looks so everything is cut out I backed my photo with a couple of uh, pieces of pattern paper and uh, super simple and I'm kind of I'm gonna go with um, like a L-shaped um, design but you know the L is like turned um, I think you'll see what I mean and uh, I'm using this uh, this is a part of the cut apart sheet that came uh, in the kit and it had this cute flower uh, which was pink <laughs> so <laughs> I just cut it out and it will make it to my page but that tag is gonna go back I don't know I've tried to use this tag all the time and it's just not working and this time I'm gonna use um, there's this really pretty uh, tag also from the same package this is all the citrus bliss ephemera like die cut pack that came in the main kit and there's like a big uh, transparency tag uh, with these little gold triangles that I really like and I also wanted to use on previous layouts and this time it's gonna make it to the layout so I'm just going through through it and picking out some pieces that I think uh, will work with this uh, layout most of them actually make it uh, some go back but it just gives me a starting point because there is a ton of stuff in that um, 
yeah little package and the photos are of my husband my daughter and me and i took them on our uh, seventh wedding anniversary which was a couple of weeks ago and um, I'll probably talk more about it because I have like more photos uh, that I intend to scrapbook um, but it was just a really really lovely day and yeah we had a great time we took um, our daughter to the place where we got married and uh, which is <laughs> this really old castle in um, the south of Austria. I mean, if you're going to get married in Europe, so you might as well do it in a castle, right? <laughs> but the place is just uh, beautiful. Um, it's like a hilly area and with like vineyards and um, it's really, really pretty. And then there's this castle that is now a hotel and a restaurant and the food is excellent um, and yeah it was just a really 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 beautiful wedding it was very intimate and um, we all stayed there overnight so you know the next day um, after <laughs> the people that were not hungover <laughs> um, you know could join us for breakfast no everyone joined us for breakfast and it was just kind of you know a weekend of uh celebrations it was lovely i can't believe it was seven years ago and my daughter has never been there uh it's kind of like a bit a long drive from where we live i mean not so long but like 40 minutes and somehow we never went back and we were planning on just going, the two of us, but then I asked her if she wanted to see and join us, and um, yeah, she was very excited, so we decided to uh, take her, and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. We ate, and I'll have a special uh, video <laughs> for the food, <laughs> because, you know, it was, no, it was really, it was really nice, and um yeah, it was just lovely. The place is just as beautiful as it was seven years ago. Nothing changed. And um, yeah, what can I say? Again, it was just a lovely <laughs> evening. So I'm just adding a little bit of like, um, I'm stamping the date and um, with a date stamp from my stash. And now I'm going to add some twine to that tag because to me it looks kind of weird without it and yeah and then I'm just gonna fuss a little bit with the embellishments but everything kind of comes together um, I just try to repeat colors and elements you know if I add a circle in one place then I'll try to add it also in another place and that pineapple is going to make it to the layout. It, it's totally random and totally cute. And um, yeah, I really like how it looks. So if I add something pink on one cluster, then I try to add also pink on the other clusters. And I kind of have here three um, main clusters. So one is around the XOXO and then um, at the top of the photo and on the right side of the photo. And yeah, I'm just picking up pieces. I wanted, I really wanted to use that little triangle, um, but it goes back to the chipboard uh, sheet. I really love the chipboard pieces, but I, I think I only used like one on this layout. So I should probably do a layout, um, you know, focusing on it. I don't know, using the frames and just uh, playing with that. So I really wanted to use that heart and add some more pink and I decided I liked how that looked next to the XOXO and on that um, yellow paint. And so then I'm going to add a heart also to the top cluster and the pineapple, uh, another pineapple. So just repeating elements, um, adding some more hearts and some more hearts because it is kind of a lovey-dovey um, 
layout and I think that's all I have to say about this so this is my fourth layout with the kit uh, I kind of got the make it I guess relatively late compared to like where when I usually get them so and my June kit is relatively fast uh, on its way to me um, so I'm not sure how many uh, layouts I will um, I will get to do with the kit but I want to try to use it um, to use it up well at least make a few more layouts before I switch to the uh, June kit because I really yeah I, I like to use my kits and uh, I want to get the most of them and um, it's always tempting when you know you get something new newer in this case um, it's always tempting to you know just use it immediately um, so I don't know I mean it's still kind of early Saturday morning I have you know a bit today and tomorrow um, so I should just print a bunch of photos and do my best to um, yeah just to get it scrapped get it done use up some um, some of the lovely goodies because I have still a lot left um, yeah this there's just a lot and uh, this month I didn't even get the project life uh, kit because I still had so much left over from the last two months um, and I wanted to use them up but in June I did get the project life kit because um, it has um, these exclusive um, cards designed by Kim Watson from the uh, design team and they are just gorgeous 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 so I had to have them and I'm really excited to use them on my project life um, as for my project life um, yeah I guess I would say I'm behind I don't really care um, but I just did not have the time to um, to get to it so I did do I think a couple of spreads uh, like in the last few days so there is some progress uh, but I will definitely try also to get some of that done so this is my finished layout I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave me a comment and um, yeah thanks for watching and have a lovely lovely day bye